Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. It's Reba, and we're going to the greenhouse. Now I've already been out here, and I've gone into the house, and I gave myself one to two minutes to cry. And I'm, I've got a, a different variety of emotions going on here. Um, a part of me is really bummed and sad, but then another part of me is joyful and happy. And I guess I can explain why. But let's open this up. I've got it partially opened already. And we'll go in and I'll show you what happened last night. Now I did a video last night in the evening just before the sun went down. And if you guys were watching my video, then you'll know that this tray had not been disturbed yet. Well, I came back out this morning and I looked at this one first. And the little critter has continued to finish off the rest of the seeds that were not finished off in this row. So they ate all the corn, all of it. Every single every single section they have eaten all of the corn, you guys. It's all gone. No more candy corn. Corn. <laughs> now it did not like the sugar beets, so sugar beets are safe, at least for now. <laughs> Maybe when they get bigger and they're more foodable, <laughs> you know. I know I like to use a lot of words that aren't words on here because I'm just a weirdo like that, you guys. So forgive me um, and love me <laughs> and I don't care if you hate me <laughs> because haters don't matter <laughs> in my world anyways. I never let people who hate get to me. At least not very long. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah. So they don't seem to like... Whatever it is does not seem to care for um, the onion stuff. So that stuff is safe. The fake garlic is doing awesome. You guys, please somebody, do you know what this is? <laughs> Can you tell by the leaf shape? I don't know. I got either one grass or one leek that's come up here. Kind of reminds me of a leek though. So that's cool. So I haven't lost everything in the greenhouse, you guys. But, um, yeah, it ate all of the popcorn seeds. I had two different varieties. Um, I had strawberry popcorn, and I had just a regular popcorn planted. And I had, on this end, I had, um, uh, I had like two rows of sugar baby watermelons, and then I had two rows of popcorn planted here. I can tell by the hulls now what was planted in what cell. Um, I had the the red popcorns in here. I had in this row, you can tell now what was here too. It looks like I had the muncher cucumbers probably in this section here. And in this section here, um, I don't remember exactly what was in here. Um, but it looks like it dug up some of it. But there's still a sprout right here. So it didn't want that. So I don't know. Um... I know my past video will tell us what what's in what, but yeah, this pretty much this whole tray is ready to be re -sowed. sowed. And so, anyways, <laughs> my camera cut off, so I finished the last bit of that word from the previous section of the video. Anyways, moving on. So I need to re sow this container here, and what I'm thinking about doing, you guys, is going. Um, if you can see through the greenhouse right here, I've got spinach in this one, but on the next section down right here, if you can see through the dirty plastic, I've got white kohlrabi and purple kohlrabi, and then I've got a whole bunch of um, celery root starts coming up in that um, section there. Um, it's those giant root balls that you get um, at the store, but anyways, um, I went ahead and what I'm thinking about doing with all these trays that um, got invaded by the rodent of sorts. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think it's a possum because it's so, um, it's, it's a tiny small hole. So I'm thinking it's probably, it's probably a rat, you guys, because based on the rooting around um, with the, the way it looks, it's probably a rat because it's got like a little, little pointed areas like, you can see here it came through it ate all of my squash right here it's eaten all of the round 
zucchini as well so you can kind of see the ones I had planted um, a cocazella I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that um, I don't have any more of those seeds um, I might have some more of the round zucchini um, it figured out that the Mexican um, sour gherkin really wasn't worth it it messed with this one just a little bit right there but all the others cells here he didn't mess with it looks like not all of these have been messed with so let's look and see if there's still a seed here oh my gosh you guys it hasn't eaten all the seeds so I still have some seeds in here so what I'm thinking I might do is I um, I'm going to pot everything out and I'm going to put everything into these trays here and I'm gonna switch them you guys I'm gonna plant these into all of the cells of all of my trays and um, and see it hasn't invaded all of this one so I've got wonder um, wonder pepper here another muncher cucumber here it looks like it's gotten some of this stuff but not all of it oh my goodness so I'll be checking all of my cells now I'm kind of I'm not as sad now I'm pretty sure it got all the corn though but I have more corn and more popcorn that I can plant so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about putting them into these little greenhouses that I have and um, starting my starts on this side of the greenhouse where it gets more sun so that they can grow a lot quicker and then they'll they'll have those lids on them so that the um, rat or whatever kind of rodent it is can't get into them it's not really messing with anything that's already germinated you guys so there's that hope that I have I have a lot of the carnival squash that's already come up. I'm so thankful. But the rat's not been on this side yet. So I also have some of those other zucchinis planted in these ones. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting these directly into um, one of those containers, um, one of those greenhouses, so that this rat can't get to them. So, and I have an extra lid here so that I can put it on top of one of my trays so that this rat can't get to them or rodent I don't know what it is I'm guessing it's a rat um, I did have a, I have a cell here that something's going on here I need to add a little bit of water to this side today after the shade has come over onto the greenhouse um, don't want to do it right now because I don't want my leaves to get burnt but the whatever's in this cell wasn't doing very good I lost one of the um, carnival squashes out of here and these look kind of droopy I don't know why so I don't know there might be something down in the soil I don't know um, messing with them and this was new soil that I got this year so it, I mean I wouldn't think that there should be something in the soil messing with them but yeah um, it's not mess whatever it is not messing with any of these plants down here um, but yeah it ate all those zucchini that I had or Muncher cucumbers that I had in here, but there's still some cucumbers that it hasn't eaten in here. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe putting this lid here on top of these three trays, these three if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all three into underneath the lid, but I'm going to try it, you guys, and put that on. I don't know if I can, I, I'm going to have to figure something out if I can either go through the soil and put the soil into one of the green um, bottoms and then put that you know um, just figure it out I don't think it's germinated yet but this week now my phone's telling me that we're gonna have Sun this week we've got a military military helicopter going over right now so it's really loud um, so I'm having to talk just a little bit louder um, so yeah um, I'm, I'm a bit bummed but it hasn't messed with everything on this tree yet but I said that last night about this tree and it cleaned out that tray. So um, I still have hope. It has rooted around in my Victoria rhubarb, you guys. Um, it has messed with my rhubarb. Um, and it's uprooted a lot of my roots. It's really being, it has eaten. It looks like it is eating some of my rhubarb, you guys. Oh, goodness. All else fills I end up with just a couple um, I'm gonna have to figure something out because yeah it is trying to eat my rhubarb so I might need to uh, I don't know I might need to just throw these all into a pot and um, 
hope for the best and move it up close to the house maybe away from here and then put some new soil into this and plant something else um it's not really messing with onions it's not it doesn't really like my herbs so there's there's that you guys it did mess up these little containers down here but it's not eating them so i don't know you guys i don't know what it is it looks like it's probably a rat based on the the chew marks on it on the little squashes squash seeds doesn't look like it messed with the back two here so um i'm gonna look i'm gonna be looking through each one of the trays to see if there's any seeds left um i'm not gonna mess with um the sugar beets on this side i don't think it cares about those seeds so i'm just going to replant on this side and put like the white kohlrabi in here and then over here i'll probably put like the purple kohlrabi and then um i'm going to replant or re reposition these seedlings and and soil and that sort of thing because it has been it has eat a little bit of the rhubarb so um i haven't lost it all yet so there's still hope um and i'm just going to reposition that in the yard because it's kind of I think it'll be fine that'll be fine but you guys I don't have the setup indoors um, or the funds really to um, go out and purchase a whole seed growing um, section um, one day hopefully I will have something like that so that I won't experience this but this is just one of those things that happens you guys when uh, that can happen when you're first starting out um, you either lose seeds because you overwater or underwater or a pest come in like rodents and or bugs and they will destroy and devastate everything that you're trying to grow and I've had my struggles this year for sure and I know that the Lord is teaching me um, but so I'm sad because some of my stuff hasn't made it and that something has eaten my things but at the same time I'm also joyful because just look at this could you imagine if you were a rodent and you came in and you had a buffet like this set up for you how much you are praising the Lord because in scripture it tells us that even the animals praise the Lord so this banquet of all these seeds and everything this rodent was probably praising the Lord saying every single bite thank you God thank you God thank you God thank you God um, so in that sense I'm very happy and joyful but in the other sense I'm very sad and um, frustrated because I'm trying to practice my growing skills for when um, you know we have our homestead I know how to grow certain things better this is my learning time you guys now I did grow up on a farm um, we I did grow up having gardens but I was a young child and it was primarily my grandparents that and my mother sometimes um, but primarily my grandparents that had the farm or, or the gardening and the food forest and that sort of thing and so it wasn't necessarily me that was doing all the hard work and I just came along and helped I was like the sidekick you know running around in the yard and playing and tossing a couple seeds into the ground um, and now I'm learning and I don't have my grandparents here to help me and um, my mother is you know in her 80s now and she doesn't do a whole lot of she does a little bit of growing but not a whole lot and so um, <sighs> these things happen and so um, I'm just gonna have to get invade you know just try to figure out what to do you know and so it does look like I don't know this some of this mess up here was because of the greenhouse tipping over but I do need to separate these out too on this side and put some more soil into the ground and maybe plant some things into here but I that's what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be working on this some um, and getting as much as I can um, that's already growing that this rodents not gonna mess with put into these um, sections and trays and that sort of thing and just pray to God that this little booger will stop <laughs> um, eating my stuff but you know what do you do start over there's only there's only so much grow seasoning season time during the year um, that I have up here in the Pacific Northwest and so uh, 
yeah I'm not exactly sure what things I should sow at this point uh, I need to figure that out um, maybe I'll plant some of the early grow corn and get those started um, because they come to fruition a lot sooner than other varieties of corn so we'll see and then I might still plant a few things of popcorn and um, decide if I'm gonna keep the popcorn here at my house or 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 something like that I might do that I might just do the popcorn here and then take some of the other corn to the church so anyways you guys thanks for watching comment like and subscribe click that bell button and as always have a wonderful day and look don't let the pest get to you okay god bless bye